Team coverage from all across the area and tonight. First, a look at Miami County, where officials are saying this is the most damage they've experienced in years. Powerful winds have left many people without power and a trail of damage in their wake. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is just back with the damage there. Ebony? Witnesses describe hearing a train-like sound in the sky turning from day to night in an instant. Then they say it was suddenly calm. I can't imagine what a war zone looks like, but this is some devastation. Devastation in Peru at the hands of a powerful storm. It started pouring rain, I mean, super hard, and the wind picked up, and I heard this pop, like, I thought maybe it was a transformer, and then I heard it again. Miami County emergency management leaders estimate the damage stretches for a mile and a half, but recognize it could have been worse. A lot of roof damage, front of the, front of the buildings, the facades, lots of uh, uh, signage, uh, just completely blown out. Um, other than the trailer and the one house, uh, that's really mostly what it is. I mean, we really were lucky. This house suffered possibly the most damage. The owner's family says they were miles away when this huge shade tree toppled over. Thank God they were out of town when this happened. Uh, if you look inside, if they'd have been home, it would have been awful. The grandson of the woman who owns this wrecked minivan says she had to go to the ER. How is she doing? Do you know any word? Uh, she's, she's talking. She's got probably a concussion going on. She was almost 80 years old and ended up riding that whole storm out in that van over there. And uh, she's in good spirits. Officials say otherwise. There are no reports of serious injuries. It's amazing. God was definitely looking out for some people today. Emergency management officials tell us workers hope to restore power by Thursday morning. Back to you.